Hello, this is Mighty Owl. What a peaceful and beautiful night. Oh, look, there's the moon. Well, our moon, to be specific, as the moon we see is our planet's only natural satellite. There are more than 200 moons in our solar system. 200 moons? No way. That's right. There are planets that have up to 20 moons. But today, we will focus on our one moon. So buckle up. We're about to have a mighty trip to the moon and back. Here we go. Our moon is very special to us because it's the closest one to Earth. Not too close, though. It takes three days for a spaceship to travel to the moon. Oh, and check out the size of the moon compared to the Earth. It's much smaller. In fact, Earth is four times bigger than the moon. The moon is fascinating, and scientists have discovered so many cool facts about the second brightest object in our sky, after the sun. We humans walked on the moon for the first time over 50 years ago, in 1969. That was an incredible time for humankind. The astronauts there were able to make many observations and even brought back rocks to study. Take a look at that astronaut. Look at how funny he's stepping, as if he was jumping on a bouncy castle. That's because on the moon, there's less gravity than on Earth. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects down. Gravity is what keeps us from floating up in the air and away. <laughs> That's why the astronaut bounces as he walks on the moon. There's less force pulling him down as he walks. Check out his gear, his cool suit and helmet. They are very important because on the moon, there is no oxygen for breathing. So this suit supplies the astronaut with air to breathe. The moon itself is a big dusty ball of rock that orbits Earth. Orbit means that it travels around and around the Earth. It takes the moon about 27 days to orbit Earth. This orbit is important for us because it affects our oceans. As the moon orbits around Earth, gravity pulls the ocean water, and this causes them to rise a little bit. Other parts of Earth experience lower tides, because there's less gravity pulling from the moon. Take a look at the surface of the moon. What do you notice? It's very unique from the surface of Earth. The moon is covered in huge craters. These are large holes on the surface of the moon. They look like giant lakes with no water in them. Craters are made when chunks of rock called asteroids hit the moon's surface. We can even see some of the craters from Earth because they're so big. Smaller craters can only be seen using a telescope. What else can we observe about the surface of the moon? There are also tall mountains and flat plains called seas. These seas certainly are not like the seas on Earth. No water here. The moon not only orbits our planet, but just like Earth, it also spins or rotates on its axis. The axis is an imaginary line that goes through the center of the moon. As it spins, different sides of the moon get lit up by the light of the sun. The temperature on the moon goes from super hot to very cold. The side of the moon that gets sunshine can be over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like an oven. And on the other side of the moon that gets no sunlight, it can be negative 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Brr. Have you noticed that each night the moon looks different? Sometimes it has the shape of a banana. Other times, like half of a circle. And even a whole circle. The spinning of the moon is why it looks different to us each night. As it spins, the sun is lighting up different parts of the moon. The sun's light is reflected off the surface of the moon, making it appear to glow. Scientists call these the phases of the moon. These phases repeat each month. You can follow this pattern by going outside every night and observing the moon's shape. Night after night, you'll be able to see the changes in the parts of the moon that are lit up by the sun. You can even keep a moon journal to record your drawings. 
Our trip is about to end for now, but look how many interesting things we've learned. We know that there are more than 200 moons in our solar system, but ours is so important for us because it's the closest to the Earth, so close that it even affects our oceans. It takes 27 days for the moon to orbit Earth, and it spins around on its axis. That's why we see its different phases. Basically, it's made up of rocks, so it doesn't glow by itself, but it actually reflects the sun's light. Next time you gaze up at the night sky, look closely at our moon. See if you can see the large craters on its surface, and try to imagine bouncing on the moon's surface like an astronaut. <laughs> Until next time, stay mighty, astronauts.